Valentine's Day, 1998. I remember that day when I asked you to be my Valentine. That special bond I felt was going between us increasing. I wanted to take it to the next level. I remember the look on your face, the happiness and excitement of the day we spent together. Drain like your face like water going down a plug hole. You said no. I loved you, and you know I did. So why would you do this to me? Why? I, I remember when you walked away into the crowd of lovers, I, I sat on the bench crying. I walked home on my own, no one was home to comfort me after what you did. I, I, I remember walking up and looking at the patterns of cuts from last night, the blood on the carpet that was still there, the writing on the bedroom walls that was still there. <laughs> Why? I, I written, and all written in blood. I remember two weeks later, I saw you on the street with another man. A much younger, better looking man than me. <laughs> the pain just grew and grew. I loved everything we had done together. I just had been thrown away by you. Every time we fucked, you told me you loved me and me only. <laughs> I remember when we walked down that alley and that gang of thugs mugged me and killed me. I died thinking of you as the knife plunged into my chest, ending my life, my pain, my heart. As the knife dug deeper into me, I could feel my life slipping away. The sheer pain was excruciating. I remember at my funeral, my friends and family were there. My mother was crying. My father was comforting her. I looked around. I couldn't find you anywhere. When I died, it wasn't nice. All I could feel is a searing pain through my body, as if I was on fire. The pain was excruciating and I only escaped because I didn't feel complete. I felt I needed something more and I knew what it was. It was revenge. <laughs> I don't know how I escaped, but it involved lots of pain. When I got back to Earth, I felt like something was going straight home to say to everyone that I survived. Then I realized no one could see me. So I just decided to kill the thugs that took away my life. I, I could still move things, but I was invisible. It was great fun and I enjoyed it so much. The first one I went for ended up face down on the ground with a skull, with a crack skull, no scalp. He never knew what hit him. I used some, the same knife he used to kill me and carved the pretty little eyes out of their sockets. By the time the two other assholes had blacked into, backed into a corner, I ripped the first one's fingers off of my teeth after I cut their eyes out, holding them in the same hand as the others. I knew what I was going to use them for. <laughs> I was going to make a necklace for you. With the second shuddering of pain on the floor, and the third tears that rushed. I felt like a rush became more and more violent. I cracked his jaw with the first uppercut and disenlarged his head from his body with the first second and as the, with the others. I cut his eyes out with the same knives and kept his eyes in a knife for later use. I knew where I was going to go next. I was going to his house. The one who took you from me. I was going to be less forgiving to him. When I first saw him, he knew something was wrong. <laughs> he could sense me getting closer. I knocked him out with a single punch to the neck, taking out his airway and suffocating him until he collapsed. After that, I surgically cut a hole into his throat so he could breathe. I wanted this to last for as long as possible. He choked up on blood and started to wake. On the verge of death, it appeared he could see me. He knew who I was. But you're dead. It can't be. He shuddered. He was so wrong. I cut his eyes out with him still screaming, then plunged the knife deep into his stomach, watching his intestines pour out onto the cold carpet floor. At least I think it was cold. It was too drenched in blood to tell. I, I felt better after this, but still not complete. I was still missing something. <laughs> it was you. 
I needed you. I, I couldn't be complete without you. So I set off for your house, wrestling, whistling myself on the way. I was happy for some reason. I knew nothing could stop me as I drew closer. I felt happier and happier. You were so surprised to see me. You cried, and I told you not to. You wouldn't stop, and I tied you up. I got so angry. I cut you. I shouted. I put the necklace I made for you, and you just screamed louder. I plunged a murder weapon that was used on me into your eye. And then from then on, we were tied together. A permanent bond that no one could separate from us. I was happy now. I could finally rest. <laughs> Finally, finally rest.